Hello. Choose here. Okay. Um, so I have, I should probably whisper this. I meant to whisper it. I meant to whisper it, my bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I've got, uh, this is from Portillo's. Um, a jumbo hot dog and a cheeseburger. And I baked the onion rings myself. Um, I also have their famous uh, chocolate cake. And a large Coke. I know, I know. Please don't hate, don't hate me. So here's the thing. Um, this is supposed. To, this is a jumbo hot dog. It's definitely jumbo, but it was supposed to have everything on it. That's how it usually comes. Well, when they when Grubhub asks you for you know instructions or whatever, if you want it prepared a certain way or whatever, I I just wanted to add cheese to everything else. But they only saw that as all I want is cheese. So I put. I had to chop up. Uh, onions and tomatoes now this burger this cheeseburger was actually supposed to be a double cheeseburger it's only one patty so uh, you know I got online called them and uh, they are refunding me like 18 bucks so I'm okay with that enjoy what we can so there's no celery salt or pickle relish or pickles or sport peppers nothing so I'm gonna do what I can with this But 
it because you know like rent rent is coming up Here's the thing. That hot dog is okay. I don't I told you I normally don't get the hot dogs from there, but I like my hot dog char grilled. And this is not char grilled. So mm. Thank you. 
You didn't think I saw it, huh? I know you didn't think I'm looking right at it. Um, so today, I took a cue from my friend. He was posting out. I don't know if he, if he created the playlist on uh, Apple Music or whatever, but he had been, if you hear something, that's one of these apartments or floors. I don't know what that noise is exactly, but I've been hearing it lately. But anyway, my friend, uh, he's been posting uh, social distancing songs, and I was like, you know what? That sounds like a good idea. So I uh, made a playlist on Spotify. It's called the Social Distancing Sounds. I've got stuff on there like um, I thought he chose um, the police don't stand so close to me which is perfect <laughs> and uh, there's some other ones that he chose too I can't remember but if you um I've made that playlist public. So, um, if you guys have Spotify, just look up um, social distancing sounds under Shady Pines. about the future yeah a little bit but um, just can't let it take I can't let it consume me you know Processes about, you know, who to point the finger of blame to at, or, you know, whatever, how the disease even started and all of this stuff and what the government's telling us and all of that. And my thing is, people can believe what they want, that's, that's their right. But um, my hope is that these people don't. Um, Take their beliefs or that they don't parlay those beliefs into irresponsible behavior, irresponsible social behavior. You know, like they're telling people not to do. We have a simple job as the public, as citizens of our communities. We have a simple job. We're not in a hospital, in hospitals on front lines. We're not, you know, testing people. We're not, you know, we have a simple job. If we can't do the simple job of making sure that we're sanitized, that our hands are clean, and that we're not wandering around in groups of more than, what, three or four people, 
If we can't follow that, there's something truly wrong with us. I just hope that people are like, you know, that don't take it seriously. I don't know how anyone at this point cannot take it seriously. And in Chicago, for example, we're quickly now becoming a hot spot, you know. It's nothing to uh, take lightly. And if you are showing symptoms, you really need to get tested. It would be in your best interest to just go ahead and get tested, just to get it out of the way. You, 
it's not like anything that you taste, but it's unlike any other chocolate cake you've probably had before. You know what I mean? There's a richness and a smoothness to it. Oh my God. Okay, so as much as I'm a little disappointed that my meal didn't come exactly the way I ordered it, I still enjoyed the meal thoroughly. And if you are ever in Chicago, you know, I'm going to suggest that you uh, go to this, go to Portillo's. Now, a lot of people will tell you, there's some, some other hardcore Chicagoans that will tell you that, uh, you know, Portillo's is just a name. It hasn't been around like more than some other like places that are have been around longer and might be more known for their Italian beefs than Portillo's. But um, I've not had a bad meal at Portillo's. This hot dog was probably the only thing that was lackluster. It was good, but it was it was lackluster because I need a char grill dog. But um. Uh, You know, everyone, everyone, no matter, no matter where you're from, there's some kind of well-known shithole place, hole in the wall, that everybody knows, that everybody likes. Either they like going there, the people are friendly there. The food either is really cheap and good, or it's spectacularly good. And, you know, some people will, will if you bring Portillo's up to some people, they'll probably be like, well, okay, you know, yeah, for tourists, maybe, but not a diet in the wool Chicagoan. You're gonna have that. I am going to suggest that if you want a really good uh, double cheeseburger with everything on it, and a bomb-ass chocolate cake, I'm gonna suggest you go. And their beefs are good, and their beef and cheddar croissant is something you should have too. Okay. I can't. <laughs> I try, but I can't. So, I would like to do something tonight, but I just don't know. I'm gonna be on a video chat with my good friends. I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, so if I do anything, it might be like a little later, later. If I do anything. If not, I don't have to wait until tomorrow. But uh, like and subscribe and uh, comment. You know, you can comment on what I've talked about here or whatever. Uh, what else? Oh, follow me on Instagram at the official Jews. Um, if, um, if you have sent a request and I haven't, uh, followed you or uh, accepted your request to follow me, it's because I want, I need to know who you are, uh, in relation to YouTube. My assumption is that you have found me on YouTube and you want to request to follow me. But uh, I would like to know who you are. And if you don't tell me who you are, I delete your request. So uh, don't take it personal. I just need you to follow instructions carefully. Okay, take care. Bye.